Hey, this is Mead from AUSquared.com, back with a quick tip in the wood shop today. Let's get started. So, normally when you're working here, about to uh, cut some 45 degree angles for your stretcher bars, uh, you would just uh, pop the tab down on your chop saw, move over to 45, let it click in, make a cut, be done with it. But uh, there's a more sophisticated way to get a better 45 degree angle. And uh, that starts with, if you have a double bevel blade, um, you're gonna make sure that you're right at 90 degrees. And all lined up. See that mine is just slightly off. So I'm gonna readjust that. So this speed square is a, a pretty handy dandy tool um, and you're going to use it to line up all your cuts. First thing is uh, you take a little block of wood, push the tab down on your chop saw and block the tab from uh, locking in. Uh, you're going to loosen up like that, pull your blade down, lock it. Uh, Push the speed square back up against the uh, the plate firmly, and then you're just going to slide the blade over, making sure that the tooth doesn't line up at its widest spot with the blade or with the square. Line it up until it's perfect. Cinch it down. And you'll cut a perfect 45 every time. And that was today's quick tip from Mead at AUSquared.com. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. There'll be more on uh, building canvases and stretcher bars a, a little bit later. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, Mead at AUSquared.com. Thanks a lot.